Welcome to the Container Native Application Development Hands-On Lab. In this lab, we will walk you through the process of moving an existing application into a containerized continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline, and deploy it to a Kubernetes cluster in the Oracle Public Cloud. During this workshop, we will assume the role of two personas inside a fictitious company and showcase how they can work together in the cloud to complete the project. As Alpha Office's lead DevOps engineer, Chip lives in a world of constant change. It seems like every day new bugs appear, application enhancement requests emerge, all at the same time the CTO pressures him for faster cloud native service delivery. Two years ago when Alpha Office implemented a container-based microservice development strategy, the simple legacy paradigm of build and deploy worked great, but as more microservices emerged, so did the complexities. And now the team often struggles to quickly automate deployments for multi-container applications. CHIP needs options to enhance Alpha Office's current continuous delivery framework. He needs an additional tool set to ensure new features, complex configuration changes, bug fixes, and even his crazy experiments get into the cloud in a timely, repeatable manner. A tool set that plugs into the same source control and container strategy that Alpha Office has invested in and extends the organization's capabilities to create detailed pipeline-based container deployments, all the while keeping lead application developers like Derek happy and productive. Today, Chip and Derek received a high-priority project directly from the Vice President of Customer Experience. You see, Alpha Office's product catalog requires a bug fix, a functional enhancement, and an immediate migration to the cloud. The Vice President needs to handle increased consumer demand but does not have any remaining budget to procure additional hardware for the website. Failure to perform these tasks in the coming weeks before the start of the new school year buying season could severely affect the consumer's online experience and in turn, the company's bottom line. Currently, Alpha Office's product catalog is running on-premises in three separate Docker containers. The Polyglot application requires two microservices. The first microservice is developed in Java and pulls information from Twitter. The second microservice is written in JavaScript and accesses the company's central product database. The third container combines information from both microservices into a user interface running on Node.js. Once the containers are up and running in the cloud, Derek will need to develop a new set of functions that allow consumers to write reviews and upload images showing how they leverage products. Since processing and converting images can be a CPU intensive activity, and there's no real way to predict when or how many consumers could performing this task at any given time, the team will be expanding the application into the world of serverless computing. Over the next few hours, you will be assuming the roles of Derek and Chip as they execute on this project from start to finish. We will begin our journey by improving the continuous integration and continuous delivery process at Alpha Office by leveraging Worker. Worker is a Docker-based continuous delivery platform. It helps developers and DevOps engineers like Derek and Chip containerize applications. The process of building and deploying applications is automated by chaining together each individual step in the process into easily manageable workflows. Using Worker, they will create a pipeline that defines all the required tests, builds, and deployments for each of the product catalog source code repositories. The pipelines are comprised of logical steps defined inside a configuration file written in YAML. Once completed, the pipelines will then be arranged inside workflows to perform complex end-to-end -end continuous integration, continuous delivery flows that can take the current product catalog application from source to production in the cloud. When the worker configuration is complete, the containers will be stored inside a Docker registry. The registry will store the Docker images and associated documentation to facilitate rapid reuse across future Alpha Office projects. As the workflows execute, Kubernetes will extract the images from the Docker registry and deploy them to a Kubernetes cluster. The cluster facilitates the deployment and management of the containers onto a block of computational power, storage, and networking running in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI. For Alpha Office, OCI combines the raw computational power to handle any future consumer demand with a granular control, security, and predictability of the familiar on-premise infrastructure that they have leveraged for years. 
Once the application is up and running in the cloud, Derek will push out a quick bug fix to the worker pipeline. He will then leverage a blue-green deployment methodology to test the fix and ensure it's performing as expected. In a blue-green deployment, the DevOps team will run the new version of the Twitter microservice without bringing down the old version. And once the new version is fully available, Derek will reroute traffic to the new version by reconfiguring the Kubernetes load balancer service. With the bug fix operational, Derek will then begin developing the new functionality inside Oracle's microservice platform. Here, he can immediately start coding a function to upload, convert, and resize images. Once complete, the FM server will expose his code as a REST service endpoint that can immediately be consumed by the product catalog user interface and ensure that the project is completed before the pending deadline. In Lab 100 today, you will assume the role of chip and begin the process by containerizing your existing Java application. You will set up Worker to monitor your application's source code repository for commits, then automatically trigger a build, test, and package pipeline, which will result in a Docker image of your application that is ready to be deployed. In Lab 200, you will assume the role of Derek and create a Kubernetes cluster. We will leverage Terraform to configure and provision the cluster. Terraform is an open source tool that greatly simplifies managing infrastructure for any cloud provider. Once created, you will deploy your product catalog microservice and user interface through a worker pipeline. You will also create both internal and external facing services in Kubernetes to expose some of your application's microservices to the internet. In Lab 300, you will assume the role of Derek and work on fixing a bug found in the Java microservice that you deployed to Kubernetes. You'll make a code change that fixes the bug, commit the code to GitHub, and observe the execution of a build and deploy workflow that is managed by your application. Then you'll test the application to verify that the bug fix was successful. In Lab 400, you will assume the role of Chip and perform a blue-green deployment of your microservice to Kubernetes. In a blue-green deployment, you will run the new version of the microservice without bringing down the old version. Once the new version is fully available, you will reroute traffic to the new version by reconfiguring the load balancer service. In Lab 500, you will assume the persona of Derek and extend your application using a serverless function. You will install FN on your local machine and test your function. Then you will install an FN server on Kubernetes, making use of Helm. Helm is a package manager designed for Kubernetes that makes it easy to install open source software on your cluster. Next, you will deploy your function to the cloud and test it in a product catalog application.